Thanks for joining us, folks. Your host for Yoga at Midday is having problems today. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I wanted to start you off in a little different way today, but hit the wall. But hey, I'm going to do a reboot and do it again. Ready, set, let's go. to Yoga at Midday again. I'm Tawana Wright and instructor Becca Impella. Becca, how are you? Hi, Tawana. I'm doing well. Don't worry about that little glitch. You know, we call yoga a practice. It's never perfect. We just keep coming back and doing it again. So I love that you tried it a, a second time and it went through. You're so kind, Becca. <laughs> Folks, today is our last episode of Yoga at Midday for December. But guess what? But we'll be in 2021. Some of the favorites. Becca, tell them what we're doing today. So today I'm going to sort of hit the highlights, right? So we've done this series for a good, I think, 12 weeks now. And I've touched on different areas. And today I'm going to do a practice that I feel like is, you know, pretty widely beneficial, pretty widely accessible. And just really hits the highlights of reducing stress and tension, focusing our energy, and moving our body. Okay, so let's make sure you've got your chair, okay, that's what our, our, uh, our only prop really for this uh, sequence or this uh, series has been, is just something to sit on. I've got a little bit of blanket underneath my feet just because my feet don't hit the ground all that easily in this chair, so you might do that for yourself as well. And you can use the back of your chair if you want, scoot way back in there and use it for some support on your low back. All right, so we're going to start with a couple of breathing exercises to help us focus our attention and just bring our energy into our body and into the practice. All right, so sit up tall, take the arms down to your sides. Take a nice, slow, deep breath in and reach the arms out and up overhead. Exhale and bring those hands right down to your lap. All right, I call this the gathering breath. So sort of symbolic, the gesture is as if I'm gathering up energy around me in my space and bringing it into my center. It's also an intention of gathering up my um, attention, my focus, my awareness, and bringing it into my body. Okay. And each progressive breath will give you a chance to get a little deeper inhale, a little fuller breath. A little slower exhale. Now let's do three more together. Big breath in. Feel free to close your eyes if you'd like. Slow breath out, exhale. Draw the belly in. Last one. Big gathering breath out, exhale. Now let's go ahead and leave the hands right here at the front of the belly. They could be touching or hovering in front of your abdomen, all right? Just to encourage some diaphragmatic or belly breathing. Nice full breath in, feel the belly move out towards your hands. Exhale, gently squeeze the belly in. Maybe even your hands press in gently. Big breath in, slow, full, not forced, okay? So we're not forcing that breath. Exhale and pull in. Now, sometimes this breathing pattern feels opposite to some people. Some people have learned to take a deep breath by sucking their abdomen in and really inflating, you know, their lungs, okay? But I'm going to have you keep working on this diaphragmatic breathing. We use our diaphragm press when we let the belly Move out on the inhale and move in on the exhale. One more. 
All right, good. Now we're just going to loosen up all of the joints from head to toes. So sit up nice and tall, drop the chin towards your chest, and give the head a slow, easy roll from shoulder to shoulder. And just notice how it feels in your body. You want to be tuning in the whole time. Bringing your attention back over and over again to the feelings in your body, to the movement of your breath. All right, so notice if there's a difference in your right side, left side, as you make this movement with your head. One more time, roll to one shoulder, and then roll forward to the other shoulder. Right. And bring the head forward and up. Now let's work on those shoulders. Roll those shoulders up, back, and down. Nice big breath with this. Usually feels good. Inhale the shoulders forward and up. Exhale them back and down. Two more. Okay. Shoulders back and down, turn the palms forward, bend the elbows, touch the shoulders, straighten the elbows, and reach the arms back. Then touch the shoulders, lift the elbows up, any amount, and then sweep them down and reach back, all right? So this movement for some might be really big. The elbows might point all the way up to the ceiling, and the arm might lift way up and back but it's okay if you are somewhere in between. All right, so just make whatever movement you can make easily in your body, it feels productive. Two more times. Good. And then fingertips touch the elbows and we'll stay right here and then circle the elbows. Maybe they touch in front, maybe they don't, it's okay, either way. All right, one more with the bent elbows, and then we're gonna reach with that whole arm, so a big circle. Inhale, exhale. Good, one more. All right, good, hands come across the chest. We're gonna twist, start to loosen up the spine. So just make this first twist easy, does it? Just sort of turning on the muscles that help us twist. Not trying to go as far as possible. All right, let's turn one direction and stay. And then let the arms come out to help. So one hand across to the opposite knee, other arm back on your chair. Sit up nice and tall. Resist with that hand and the knee. Let them press into one another. Maybe turn that head a little further, looking behind you. And then unwind it, come back to center, lift up tall, and turn the other direction. Unfold the arms to help, hand across to the opposite knee, arm back on the chair. Breathe in, breathe out. You can turn that head looking towards the back if you want. And then unwind it. All right, a little more for the spine in a different direction. So let's reach one arm up and over. Stretch that side body. You can use the other arm to hold onto your chair. And then bring it back to center. Other side, reach up, stretch over. And then back to center. All right, now a little more for the lower spine. Think about that pelvis, rock it forward, lift the chest up, and then rock it back and round your back. Now, if you've got a disc issue or your low back just doesn't feel good when you do this rounding, then I'm gonna recommend that you don't do that and instead you fold forward like so, all right? So we got a couple choices. You might round it back or you might fold it forward, okay? So let's do a couple more. Inhale, and everyone sits up tall. Exhale, either fold forward over the thighs 
or do that rounding back. Two more times. Inhale up. Exhale. Round or fold. One more. Good. All right, now we're gonna warm up the feet, the legs, okay? So sit tall. Maybe hold on to the sides of your chair to give you a little extra bracing. One leg. Bend and straighten. Get that knee joint loosened up. All right, and then hold that foot forward and circle. Get the ankle loosened, circle the other direction. And down. Other side, bend and straighten. Foot forward and circle. Go the other direction and release. Good. Now we're going to stand up. So, one of my favorite uh, routines that's really just a nice way to get the body moving and touch all different areas of the body is the sun salutation. So we've done this a couple times in our series. We're gonna do it using a chair, which makes it really easy um, for most people to access. We don't have to get all the way down on the floor. So just make sure that your chair is somewhere that's not gonna slide. You could use a countertop or a tabletop as well, if that works better for you, if that's a better height. All right, so we'll stand here in front of our chair seat. And then inhale, reach the arms up. Bend those knees, bend the hips, and fold down. Put the hands in the chair, drop the head. Inhale, lift back up, halfway. Exhale, fold back down. Now we'll step one foot towards the chair and one leg back. All right, you get to decide how far back do you want to step. It could be just a little ways. It could be a long ways. You could be on the ball of your foot, or you could have the heel down. Lift up to that chest. One more breath. And then shift it on back with both feet coming back. Stretch back through those arms. Knees can be soft. Downward facing dog. One more breath. And then we're going to step the other leg forward. All right, so back to that lunge on the other side. Holding here, lifting up to that head and chest. All right, and then we're stepping in, bringing that forward foot a little bit back. So we're back where we started. Flat back, inhale, lift up. Exhale, bend the knees and fold. Rock that weight back into the heels, slowly come up so you can get your balance for chair pose. And then inhale, rise up tall. Exhale, hands to the heart. We're going to do that sun salutation one more time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift back up, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Step one leg forward, the other leg back. Now this time, depending on how it feels for you, you might decide to come up and either just get your fingertips on your surface or bring your hands all the way up. See how that is on your balance. Focus your breath, focus your attention. And then the hands come back to the chair or the tabletop and stretch both legs back. Hips back, arms long. Good, and then we'll do the other side of the lunge. Step the other leg forward. Anchor that back leg. Lift up a little bit. Maybe you keep your fingers touching. Maybe you try to bring it off. All right, and then hands back to the seat or the table. Bring the legs back in. Lift up, inhale. Exhale, fold. Sit back into those hips. Weight is in the heels. Slowly come up. Steady here, strong legs. 
Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to the heart. All right, good. Sun salutations. If you're doing those on your own sometime, you could do more, certainly, as many as you wanted to, or even just one. All right, so now I'll turn my chair around so I can hold on to it for balance. Facing that chair, here we're going to do the one leg squeeze back, opposite arm lift up. And then if you're feeling like you can let go, try and balance. And then hand and foot down. Other side, squeeze back, reach up. And down. All right, let's keep going. We're alternating arm and leg, holding on if needed. Reach with the opposite arm and leg. And back down. Two more. Good. Now let's hold on this side and step that leg back. Good. Keep reaching up, and if you're able, take both arms up. Now draw that tailbone down, lift that belly up. Warrior one. Good stretch for the hips, helps lengthen out the spine. All right, and then hands come back to the chair so you can step in safely and then take the other leg back. Good, anchor that leg, push back, lift up from the belly, and then arms up, one arm or both arms. Good, and then release the hands touch the chair so you can step up. All right, let's do a little balance posture. Now, some of that might have been a balance challenge for you, but we're gonna work with tree, one of my favorite postures. So stand on one leg and take the other knee, bend out to the side. So you're turning that knee out, and that foot could even touch the ground. This is great if balance is a real challenge for you, that might be enough. Foot up a little higher, right on the ankle or the calf. Maybe a little higher, just be careful of the knee. You don't put any pressure on it. Some folks might even want to put that foot up on the thigh, okay? It just depends on how it feels in your hip, all right? So find that place, stand tall, squeeze in, like you're kind of drawing the hips in towards the middle, okay? See if you can reach one arm up. Maybe that other arm, if it's okay to let go. Keep the eyes open and focused on one spot. Keep breathing. And then slowly bring those hands maybe to the heart, palms together. Feel free to touch if you need to touch your chair. And then bring that foot down to the floor and just give it a little shake, a little walk out. Right, and then we'll do the other side, okay? So shift the weight onto the other leg, bend the knee, turn it out, find where you want to put that foot, okay? Squeeze in, squeeze in that standing leg hip. Try not to let it poke out to the side. Squeeze it in, get nice and tall. Good, find your focal point for your eyes. And then see if you can spread your branches. Keep breathing. It's okay to wobble if you need to touch down. Just see if you can come back. And then slowly bring those hands to the heart. And put that foot back down on the ground and shake it out. Maybe you noticed one side was easier than the other. It's one of the benefits of practicing yoga is that we pay attention. We learn things about our body. We learn where we're challenged, when things improve, how things change, what our differences are right to left. All right, let's come back to seated. Going to do a little bit of hip stretching. All right. So go ahead and cross one ankle to the knee. Now, if that's difficult to do, maybe slide that lower leg out, cross it above the knee, or cross it below the knee, okay? So you'll still get the benefit of turning this hip out and getting some mobility work there, 
okay? If you can bring that foot up a little higher, you'll get a little deeper stretch, depending on where you need to be. So sit up nice and tall once you have that leg crossed. That might be enough, or you might reach back, hold the chair, and lean forward. Again, not everybody needs the lean forward. If you're feeling plenty of stretch on your hip with the cross, stay there. You take about two more breaths here. All right, and then we'll sit up and we're going to cross that leg all the way over if possible. So cross thigh to thigh. If that's difficult, then bring the two legs side by side and keep them parallel. Sit up tall and turn towards that crossed knee. Hook that hand to the knee and gently turn into the twist, okay? If you want to turn the head back forward, you can look over that front shoulder for a little different twist in the neck. And then unwind the head, unwind the rest of the spine, uncross the legs. Pause a moment. Just notice the feel of that twist in your body. And then we'll try the other side. So cross ankle to knee. Give yourself a little more slack if needed by sliding that leg out. Maybe sliding the crossed leg down a little lower. Nice and tall. Maybe you've got some room to lean forward, in which case I recommend you reach back, hold the chair, keep your chest open, lean gently into it. A couple more breaths here. Good, and then sit back up tall, let go if you're holding on, cross that leg all the way over, knee to knee, or Legs can be parallel, side by side. Sit tall and turn towards the cross knee. And then slowly bring the head forward, turning to look over that front shoulder. All right, now unwind the head. Unwind the rest of the spine, uncross the legs. All right. Now, a little something for the upper back. Spread the arms out, take a little knee, mount back, chest up, big breath in. And then cross the arms over the chest. This is one of my favorites. Feels really good on that upper back. All right, so I'm working my fingers back as far as I can around my upper back, wherever you can reach. If you're right here on your upper arms, great. All right, and then lift up that chest, drop down the chin. Deep breath into that upper back. Good, now on that inhale, we're gonna open up. But notice which arm is on top because we want you to switch, all right? It's so a big stretch back. And then other arm on top, wrap those arms, give that big hug again, sit up tall, drop the chin. And then one more time, big spread open. And drop the arms down, roll those shoulders. We're going to finish with a relaxation technique, okay? Just a calming, stress-lowering way of breathing, way of connecting, all right? So get comfortable in your chair. Sit up tall, or roll or relax those shoulders back and down. Lift one hand and place it on your heart. And then take the other hand and place it gently at the front of the abdomen, right on the belly. You can close your eyes for this if you like. Just see if you can feel the breath moving at both your belly and your heart. 
So with a hint in both of these places, it's likely that you are able to feel your own breath rhythm. Right? So you're able to feel movement in one or both of these places on your body. I just want you to really tune in to feeling that movement. That's the movement, that's the energy of your breath, which is often seen as a very important life force, an energy. So you can just see if you can connect to it, if you can really ride that rhythm. Feel the rise, the expansion of the inhale, Feel the softening, the release of the exhale. And then seek to slow it down, just bit by bit, breath by breath. A little slower, deeper inhale. A little slower, longer exhale. Three more of these breaths. If you can feel it at your hands, feel it in your body, focus on it with your mind. All right, and then just slowly bring the hands together. I want to thank you all for joining me these past weeks. If you've been here just once or you've been here many times, it's been a pleasure to do this series with AARP. I do continue to teach virtual full-length classes, hour or hour and 15 minutes. My information has been shown. I think it's coming across the bottom of the screen. Often it's herenowyoga.punchpass.com. You can also email me directly if you just have a question about how to get started with that. My email is beccainpello at gmail.com. So that's super easy um, to reach me. I'm happy to talk to you if you have any questions. We want to hear about your questions, AARP and I. So if you have further questions about yoga, have any requests for things you'd like us to do in the new year, um, including what time of day you'd love to see yoga practice, please let us know. We want to make sure that we um, meet your needs in 2021. Thanks again and have a happy, happy holidays and a happy new year, everyone. Thanks, Becca. Yoga at Midday has been a series and uh, we want to make sure folks have, have uh, know that although we're ending the year, uh, yoga at midday is not going away permanently. It's just going away because the year's ending. Um, again, like Becca said, we're uh, we're surveyed to find out what people, what time of day works best for folks. And but we want to make sure that you're still tuning in because although this series is over, we still have other things coming up. Like uh, Wisdom Wednesday, this week Wednesday is going to focus on, focus on Alabama holiday traditions, and uh, we're going to have some folks on talking about the way their families celebrate. And we hope you'll join in. Again, thank you so much for being a part of this series. We've enjoyed yoga at midday. We hope you, folks, take care, stay safe, and enjoy the holidays.